tutorial we shall look at this documentary uh, naming simple compounds we'll start with binary ionic compounds so these are uh, compounds uh, that contain a positive ion, uh, also known as the cation, and a negative ion, also known as uh, an anion. Uh, there are rules that we follow uh, in uh, naming these binary ionic uh, compounds. So let's look at the rules. Uh, number one, uh, cation is named first and anion is named second. Row number two, a, a monatomic, uh, monatomic simply means uh, one atom, a monatomic, a cation, takes its name takes its name from the name from the name of its uh, element uh, for example K plus uh, this is called the potassium potassium uh, in the compounds in the compounds containing um, containing this ion then uh, row number three a monatomic anion uh, a monatomic anion uh, takes its name takes its name from from the root name from the root name of its uh, element and the adding and the adding i IED. Uh, for example, uh, EG, we have CL minus. This is called the chloride. BR minus. This is bromide. I minus this is iodide O minus 2 this is oxide uh, H minus this is the hydride so these are some of the examples so now let's look at uh, uh, compounds the ions involved and uh, the name of the compound. So we'll say uh, compound. So here we have compound, compound, ions present, ions present, the name. We have these compounds. So in this case, uh, we have uh, sodium ion and chloride ion. So the name of this is sodium 
sodium chloride sodium chloride then we have um, Ki so the ions involved in this case we have potassium ion and iodide ion so this is the potassium iodide we have calcium and S this so here the ions involved we have the calcium ion and the sulfide ion so this is called the calcium calcium sulfide calcium sulfide uh, we also have this one uh, since we are dealing with the binary uh, so let's see Look at the lithium. This is lithium ion and the hydride ion. So this is called the lithium hydride. So now uh, let's look at the formulas from names so we can derive a, a formula from the name of the compound uh, as long as we know the the valences of the cations and anions for example uh, sodium sulfide So in this case, we know we, this is sodium sulfide, so we can write the chemical formula for sodium sulfide. So we know sodium is Na, and it, the charge of sodium is positive, uh, positive one. Then sulfide is negative two. So in this case, uh, these charges uh, or the valence so in sodium is a valence of one, and sulfide is a valence of two. So the, the valences will swap. So to write the chemical formula, this one simply becomes that. So this is the formula for sodium uh, sulfide. So we can look at uh, more examples. We can look at uh, more examples. Aluminium chloride. So in this case, we know aluminium Al chloride. So we know the aluminium is three chloride one. So the formula we simply uh, swap the valences. So this is the formula for aluminium uh, uh, chloride. You can also look at uh, let's say potassium oxide. Potassium oxide. We know potassium is K oxide O. So this is positive, this is that. Then in terms of we can write in terms of valences, so the two will simply uh, cancel. Uh, so the two cancel there. Then there are what we call transition elements or metals. Uh, those uh, combine, they form they form more than one, uh, they have more than one positive charge. For example, um, iron. Let's look at uh, these two. We have this and that. So we have iron, iron there. So the name of this, the first one, this is the iron two chloride then this is ion three chloride so the roman numeral in brackets indicates the charge charge on the cat ion or that is the valency of the 
metal. So we also have copper. We have copper one, copper one, copper two, copper two. So in this case, copper one, this is copper one, then this is the copper two. So when this combines, let's say, with the oxygen, so we can have, so the, the charge on the cation has to be specified for these transition metals. So let's say copper one oxide, copper one oxide. So in this case, copper is a valence of one, we know oxide is two. So the formula will be this one. We simply swap the valences. Then copper two oxide. In this case, copper has a valence of two, oxide also has a valence of two. So the formula will be that. So it is very important to specify the charge when it is an uh, when it is a transition in uh, metal. So now we can we can write uh, the formulas as long as we know the, the charge on the uh, on the cation and anion. So let's look at uh, manganese. Manganese uh, for oxide. So let's write the, the chemical formula for manganese for oxide. So in this case, we know the manganese is M N, then oxide. So in this case, the valence of manganese is four. Then that for oxygen is two. So to write the formula for manganese for oxide, we simply swap the valences. So in this case, it will be M N. So these two will come there. Then the four will go there. So now we need to reduce uh, uh, these ratios in the simplest uh, terms. So we we'll have uh, that as a formula. For example, also carbon, uh, carbon in, uh, dioxide. So we know carbon is four, oxide is two. So it will be CO2, just like uh, the manganese or oxide. So this is how we can uh, write uh, chemical formulas from names. Thanks for watching.